What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Civilization 5 AI only Old World Battle. We're about to hit turn 350, which means we've got 52 turns to go right now. There is still a lot to go go down, I feel. Um, we've seen some incredible stuff. Parthia pulling it back and actually taking cities. Technically, if you looked at it on a city balance, net gain, net loss, Parthia have beaten Mongolia in a war, which is something no one has done so far. Although saying that, Mon Mongolia haven't really been in any wars. It it's incredible. They got this strong. They had a war with Qing, which they completely failed, and that appeared to put them off wars. And, you know, apart from picking off some random cities out here in the middle of nowhere, where we saw them struggle for ages to take a Belgian city. I think it was like 30 turns. They had it surrounded with no health, and they couldn't get a melee unit there. We finally saw them really push into Parthia. They've been pushed back, and now, I mean, apart from this city here, Balanhar, probably how you say that, um, that's it. I mean, it looks like they might be coming back now with more, but we'll see how this goes. Parthia have done something incredible. And also, as this video began, I note just there that Arabia, not so important, but the Ottomans v. Valachia, Valachia should be safe <laughs> for now, and we'll see. Maybe, maybe someone will take them out, but they are in a very difficult spot, I mean... The Khazar could probably try it, but don't think he'll go down too well. But yeah, wow, Parthia. Obviously, they took these two cities up here from Mongolia. They've actually got battleships up here in the north. I don't know what this is called. I'm going to go Siberian Sea as a guess, but it could be anything, really. Arctic Sea, probably. Um, it's another Khazar settler heading out this way, so fair play. And the Khazar just pieced out with the Sicilies. And that's weird. On the map, it looks like someone has settled south of Sicily, but I think it's just this tile. Um, there's another Mongolian settler out here. There is a Mercurian settler. Is, is that the first Mercurian? Yeah, the first... No, second Mercurian settler about to arrive in um, South America, so that's pretty big. Some wars going on, some fighting in the South Atlantic Ocean, and we have got Rhodesian rocket artillery. Well, I was not expecting to see that anytime soon. But geez, that is that is definitely the most advanced unit I've seen anyone possess so far in this game. Um, yeah, Rhodesian rocket artillery. Wow. Okay, that is it's alarming. There is a disease currently, a new one. I think it's the same one that was in Dongola towards sort of the mid middle of last video, and it has spread right through Europe, southern Europe, across the Middle East, and it's now all the way across to Mumbai here. Causing some real problems, spreading like wildfire. Ching are definitely sending something. I don't know who this is going after. I have a feeling it's Persia. But we'll find out. We don't need to check. I mean, there's no way they can get to Persia, so that'd be a pretty dumb idea. Hopefully it's not Parthia, because that would be sort of the fairy tale ending destroyed. Um, if, if that was to happen, that'd be really sad. And Egypt are currently in sort of the big event. The Songhai and Ottomans are teaming up. I don't, I don't really understand the strategy here from the Songhai. I mean, this city was always going to be tough to take with Rhodesia kind of in the way. But, um, yeah, I mean, maybe they should go for Thebes first. Also, I'm surprised. I would expect Ethiopia to maybe join in soon. Ah, oh, Parthia. Are you serious? You were actually making progress as well. You were about to start attacking another city. You gave one away in the peace deal. I'm, I'm not going to moan at you too much. You did an amazing job. But that does suck that you gave that away. That was dumb. But, um, yeah, well done. Fair. Fair enough. I mean, on paper, I guess, you know, Mongolia are a lot stronger and they just aren't really trying. I mean, <laughs> that's kind of the alarming thing. Mongolia weren't really trying and they did that. Like, there is a lot of stuff still over here, just out here. See, we saw Japan lose Tokyo last video. That is big. If China hold on to this, could maybe change their game. They're in a much better position to maybe attack Korea now, now that they have Tokyo, so then get Jonju up here. It's another coastal city to potentially build boats from. The problem is they've all got puppets. All these cities are puppeted, so we won't be seeing too many military boats. But I mean, they have Guangzhou here in the Philippines, and they also have Beijing, which is obviously their main city, to build lots of units from. I believe the biggest city in the world, 32 population. Not sure if there's anywhere bigger than that. There's a 26 there from Delhi. Um, I think, yeah, I feel like 36. 32, not 36. 32 is the biggest in the world. We're going to see. I think Belgium's at 28. That's sort of peaked there for a while now. They've just pieced out with the Sicilies. To be fair, 23 is pretty big. Um, no shame in that. Um, 22, yeah, Mali's peaked at 22. 28, again, Dongola seems to have peaked. Some of the largest cities in the world. 
some of the Rhodesian cities have all sort of stopped growing at around 20. Some Indian units, a big Indian naval force off the coast of Madagascar. That's interesting. Wonder what they're up to. There'll be nothing in Africa that is able to compete with that. There's a 17, couple of 17s. That's about it. There's another Kulin settler. It appears to be heading for sort of California region. That's where they've settled so far. That's sort of the trajectory it's on. Obviously, we've seen them in Central America too. So it could be either of them. Okay, so they're going to try ban Portugal, embargo them. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, we'll see what's going on. Kazar. Yeah, I wonder if Mongolia are going to take out these Khazar cities up here next, and maybe these Danish cities, or they might go after Poland and what Poland has here. They have a big force off this city, so yeah, that might suggest Poland are next in uh, my eyes, and Poland obviously won't be able to do too much to defend this either. It's out in the middle of nowhere, away from uh, the rest of Poland. Poland now have artillery, which makes them... Maybe a bit more likely to do something in Europe because they can shoot over the mount the Alps and these mountains <laughs> that are not the Alps, <laughs> whatever they are. Um, yeah, they can use those. Uh, nothing yet. No settlers crossing the Atlantic. Is the Ottomans? There's something going. This is just a mess. I thought Ethiopia might be getting involved. I don't really know what they're doing. It seems like they're heading over this way though. Not really sure what they're doing. It's like they're not. I hope they're not going after Rhodesia because that would not go well. Um, for obvious reasons. But yeah, this is basically all that's going on right now. Like, there is no other sieges in the world. So we just, just can focus on this and have a chill time. Let's see. They've killed most of the units now, to be fair to the Ottomans. I mean, criticise them all you want for not taking the city yet. But um, they've killed most of the units. Not, they've not got much left though, so they need to be careful. They don't burn out altogether and just give up. Oh yeah, wait, no. Persia started a war with the Garamantes, but that's not going to lead to anything. Songhai are coming. They're, they've figured it out. They're going to go round through the Ottomans. And the Ottomans actually got open borders with Rhodesia anyway. So that will help them. Babylon, yep, great war bombers. Is, is that it? Are we still on only great war planes? Do Mongolia not have regular, you know, bombers and fighters just yet? No. Okay. I mean, Vietnam and Rhodesia are probably more likely to, especially Rhodesia. But uh, Oh yeah, Rhodesia do now have regular bombers. They're probably not going to upgrade from their vampires to regular fighters for a little bit longer than they should. Uh, they will leave it longer because it's their unique unit. But yeah, let's see. Thebes. I mean, if the Ottomans grab this too, that will be pretty big all of a sudden. I mean, I, don't, I doubt they'll hold on to it for too long. People like Ethiopia and Mercuria might not be too happy with that, but they've done well. Took a big chunk of North Africa. Um, is this... Wait, which one's which side? I'm trying to work out. Is it Algeria or Libya? I think it's Libya this side, Algeria this side. But that might be the other way around. I'm sure someone will tell me down below in the comments. Uh, so Dyes was banned and Portugal was embargoed. There you go. Uh, oh, and China grabbing the Statue of Liberty. Because, you know, they are the home of the free in this world. Freedom China. There you go. Statue of Liberty for them. Persia has denounced Mongolia. Don't get too brave, Persia, just because you've lasted this long since you lost your capital. And, wait, was it? No, it wasn't Persia. Someone did really well before on an AI-only battle after losing their capital. One of my AI-only battles. I think it was India. They lost their capital, but because it was historic spawn dates, they managed to actually still do fine. Believe it or not, Persia took their capital and did really well. I think might have won that one. It was a weird one. I think a lot of people were angry about the results of that one. Because Persia snuck a win. That's the most popular one, so you should probably all know what one I'm on about by now. But um, yeah, the World Historic Spawn Dates won. So there you go. Hopefully I haven't spoiled it for anyone. I doubt I have. I imagine everyone has seen that if they're watching this video. Um, I mean, it's a good chance you've seen it. And like... Even then, like, ignored it, come back and found this video somehow. Maybe that's how that's how it worked out, but... Yeah, let's see. The Kulin trading with Honolulu. There is starting to... The oceans are starting to fill up. That is definitely something I've noticed. There is a lot more units now. Just the Pacific's full of units. The Atlantic's a bit more open, but the South Atlantic is much more full. Sort of the opposite. 
There's another Songhai settler heading over to South America. Uh, that Mercurian settler is here now. There is, of course, uh, Chiro de Potosi. Someone wants it. Vietnam is the first to complete the Manhattan Project in both games that we have going on right now. I mean, this AI game and my Mongolia game, Vietnam, twice are first to grab the Manhattan Project. I think, unless I've forgotten somebody. I'm pretty sure Vietnam was first. I think they are not winning on Tex. I think Rhodesia's winning. Rhodesia's two ahead, but they've probably not built it yet. Kazar, you seriously need to be attacking the Garamantes? Is that something you really need to do? I don't really know what you need to be doing, but I don't know if that is it. I wonder if the Kazar will make the top 10. That's something interesting. They might. They might. Because they're like, they're better than Denmark, I mean. So we'll see. They might make it in the top 10. Who knows? We'll find out soon. I think I got a solid... If I was to guess right now, I could probably give you who the who would be in the top five. So Vietnam, Rhodesia, Mongolia are all going to be in the top three, probably. And then I'd imagine Parthia would be in there still, just because certain statistics that they'd win quite easily, like land, or not win easily, but they'd be up there on, which would be land. Uh, what other ones would they do well in? Crop yield, that sort of stuff. Probably production, stuff like that, too. They'd be doing okay. Um... Kind of screwed for the economy ones. Same with Mongolia, because they're embargoed. But um, I don't know actually who would be like fifth. I'd say they're the top four, and then I'd say Songhai might squeeze in there. Or India. And maybe Qing or China. Actually, no, the Kulin. I'm kind of ignoring them, because they're not doing very much, but the Kulin are doing very well on the Info Addicts too. They're kind of like a silent silent contender. But um, it looks like they might finally be gearing up to take out Kimberley. So you never know. Maybe they will unify Australia and that'd do that'd really do a lot for them in terms of score and moving up certain charts um, Kimberly just pieced out with Portugal, that was a bit of a random war I don't think they really needed or wanted to be in Vietnam are attacking Indonesia but it's not it's not going too well for them at all right now India's still got the plague, I swear I just saw a trebuchet my eyes playing tricks on me India, you just got a random trebuchet in there to annoy me. It just seems like you have a lot of artillery, actually. Which isn't the worst move. Uh, Kimberley just attacked Garamantes. Persia, where did this navy come from? Even though some of it consists of archaeologists. Okay, Garamantes, that's a little bit more alarming. Rhodesia, um, they're on your continent, and they're also very, very strong. But you should be safe, because... Maybe Marrakesh... No, there's no melee units from Rhodesia, so you should be fine. But that is not... Not the sort of thing you want to see, but yeah, let's watch as Thebes gets closer to falling. Mali v. Garamantes. Okay, this is probably it for Fez. Um, Rhodesia is probably going to do damage to the city, and then Mali will probably sneak in with a rifleman and steal it. That's what I could see happening. But let's just keep an eye on Egypt right now. Um, next turn, we should see the Ottomans finally grab this. I feel like they've got enough there to take it next turn. Yeah, definitely. Um, they want to make sure they beat the Songhai to it, I would imagine. Even if they're on the same side, the Ottomans are doing pretty well. And, you know, you never know when they're going to turn into the next country for the Songhai to invade. Because the Songhai will be getting worried. It's probably why they're doing this. They're probably just a little bit scared of Rhodesia now. We just saw them sweep aside the Congo when they finally put their mind to it. They have mobile SAMs and rocket artilleries. And they also have anti-aircraft guns, which is a bit unusual since they're the only one in the continent with aircraft. But, um, you know, they're preparing for the future. They they know. <laughs> I mean, they know what everyone else is going to have one day. You doing anything, Mongolia? You going to do anything? Oh, yep, you're going to attack the Garamantes too. It's not a good time to be you, Garamantes. Not a good time. Luckily, <laughs> you're at peace with the Sicilies right now because they're like, they're your biggest threat because, I mean, the Songhai are preoccupied. But, um, and Portugal are also pretty, pretty terrible. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Um, how is the Mercuria find a spot yet? No, they're still walking around. Looks like they might actually go towards the west, go through this mountain path and go towards the west coast, which has still been left untouched. There's some good resources out here. There's some citrus. Some they're gonna grab that probably with their other city, but um, some wine. Some ivory. I mean, if they come into the middle of here, it'd be a great spot. They'd have silver, Chero de Potosi, and some ivory. Although they'd probably annoy the Songhai a bit, so it's whether they want to do that. 
Sicily and Portugal peace out. Mali and the Zulu peace out. But yeah, I think Fez might fall because of Rhodesia. And then Mali might come and help out. But let's see. Thebes, we're about to see it fall probably well, next turn because the Ottomans did fail this turn. The Songhai are also attacking Hurrah. These are Egypt's only two cities. Was that? What sort of, that didn't look like a normal plane. Where did it go? It all just disappeared. Um, that is not alarming at all. What? Do they have carriers now? Where? Where did it go? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's on a carrier. Bombers. Okay, it was just their bombers, but it did look like a, the nuke plane. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, it did look like the atomic bomb plane. And it wasn't. So, you know, that's lucky for some other people. Well, they don't have the Manhattan Project, so I shouldn't be too surprised that it's not. Vietnam, of course, do. It'll, it'll still be a while yet, because they've also got to go to the next technology to actually be able to build the bomb itself. But, you know, it's the AI. They, they, they have their priorities right. We'll probably see one soon. They must have uranium. They clearly don't have oil, but because you know, do you need? I think you do need oil for battleships. But then saying that, I don't see any Vietnamese battleships either. So yeah, maybe they might not have oil, but I'm sure they'll have uranium. There's a good chance they will have uranium. And that will heat things up because they're next near Mongolia. So you never know. Could they nuke Mongolia? But there we go. The Ottomans have taken Egypt's capital, the city of Thebes, and this is going to be awful border gore. If the Ottomans do not manage to squeeze a unit down to Hurrah to take this city too. If it goes to the Songhai, this tile is going to annoy me so much. Um, it's going to be unreal. But yes, the Ottoman army has done its job. A bit more of Africa for the Ottomans who have sort of exploded onto the scene recently. Towards these later years of the game. 1934 right now. Interesting times. Ching are heading over the desert. There's nothing on the border. Mongolia and Parthia are just trusting each other, it appears. I mean, they've decimated the area. I mean, Parthia are very lucky that Mongolia went for the small five population sort of city here, Aveiro, instead of Sutesiphon? Sutesiphon? City Siphon? I, I have no idea. But this city here, still at 23 population, it's their biggest city, I believe. So that's very lucky there. Persia, what are you doing? I mean, if you're attacking Ethiopia, I might just about let this slide as a bold play. But I don't want you sending it all the way around Rhodesia. I mean, it might be the Zulu, but again, that's not the greatest idea you've ever had. India's ships seem to be heading home. They've got a bit bored, half of them, and just gone home. They're like, no, nah, screw this. Let's go home. Um, okay, Korea is still here. Is anyone going after Japan? Just out of interest, because obviously Korea at war with them still. Nope, Japan are still fine in New Zealand. They are going to live probably till the end in New Zealand. Did that Kulin settler make it to make it yet? Is it, oh, it's still on its way across the Pacific. Britain and Rhodesia versus Polynesia. Don't think, um, don't think anything's going to come from that one. But, um, you know, it's got the intentions right. I'm sure somebody will do something soon. Kulin. It's your time to shine. <laughs> go and take out Polynesia, please. Just go get it done. But um, no, I expect to see them at war with Kimberley very, very soon. Songhai piecing out with Egypt and the... Oh my goodness, you left them. You left them. You were so close. You spent ages and then you just gave up. Are you serious, Songhai? To be fair, you did just get great war infantry, so that, that that's fine. At least you've got that. You've upgraded your army a little bit. I don't, it's definitely not the biggest in the world anymore. I doubt it's even like fifth, top five. I think sixth now. Mongolia, what a fall from grace. They were first for so long. India are up here now in fourth, that's a surprise. Parthia in third. Where, where did that come from? Mongolia are up in second. Rhodesia are miles ahead at the moment. 150,000 troops ahead of Mongolia. That's basically another third. It's, no, Mongolia's army is to about two thirds the size of Rhodesia's. Don't, don't question it. I know it's not perfect, but it's close. How on earth do Parthia have so... Planes can't be... Because if you look at this, Khazar have more. There's no way Khazar have less than Parthia. Oh, okay, that's why. You must have some serious production down here. That is crazy. Because you didn't have this when this war begun, and you didn't use this in this war. So, geez, and obviously you got six planes. All in Babylon. Oh my goodness, can you imagine? Parthia, 
if they start expanding into the Middle East, I'll be so happy just to see them doing well, despite everything they've been through. It would be incredible if they just started going after Arabia or Mercuria or even finishing off those pesky Ottomans and making them pay for, for, for what they did to you over Babylon. Is it actually, was this Citadel always here? Did you put it there, Parthia? I don't know. Whoever put it there was smart at the time, but maybe not now. <laughs> not anymore, because they might not have it. But Parthia, if that was you, that was smart. That makes it a lot easier just to expand into the um, Arabian Peninsula if they wanted to go after Akkad. It's going to be a lot easier because of this. And again, same goes for if they want to push down to Arabia. they got a bit more land to stick their units into. Persia are attacking Ethiopia. Okay, well, that's not the worst move. I mean, the Great Wall is going to make it tough. And you don't have any frigates either, which is kind of not ideal. But you never know. It might work for them. Let's not be so mean before they've even got started. On this, but I think that's it at the moment. There's no actual sieges now going on anywhere in the world. If I am not, oh no, there's this one here, Fez. I think that's it though. I do believe that is the only thing taking place. Ching is doing something, I don't know what it is. I hope they're not going after Parthia, but Parthia should have it covered if only one unit's coming through the mountains at a time. Um, Mongolia seem pretty quiet, there's nothing obvious going on at the moment with them. They're just Sending more and more stuff to uh, North America. Kulin are about to... Oh no, they're going to settle. Probably Central America. Although the fact that they're going to the city they already have suggests they might keep going and go towards Florida potentially too. Both are options. Did Mercurian that have still not settled? They're just having a look up the coast. Making their time. I think sometimes it feels like the AI is just taking ages. But actually it's just because the processing is so slow. I look back and expect like a 10 population city just to be there. Sometimes the problem. Uh, but yeah, there's no other new cities, is there? That Mali settler never made it. The Songhai one is now in South America on land. I don't see any other settlers coming across, though. Ideology, Zulu have gone order. Yeah, no surprises. Order is doing pretty well at the moment. Oh, the Khazar have a settler going over. And yeah, third one for them. They've had a weird game, the Khazar. I mean, they're still... They're in a cool spot. They are basically where they should be. They have some random cities in Siberia. And they have Iceland. And now they have sort of northeastern Canada. So good job. Just eastern Canada, I guess. You can go a lot further north. But yeah. They've done pretty well. Another ideology. Switzerland. No surprises. Freedom. They're actually trying to attack Portugal again. Just notice there. It's going to fail again. I would imagine. But they are really wide open right now. Poland, why don't you ask the Sicilies to give you a hand in this? Maybe that way round it would be easier. Don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It'd be cool to see though. Definitely would be cool to see how that goes down. Uh, the Kulin, nope, they're not doing anything. Garamantes, are you going to lose this city? That is the real question. Uh, yes. Maybe. When Mali decides to send its riflemen, you will lose this city. The question is, when will that be? Could be ages. <laughs> Mali might never send this rifleman over. But if they do, it went on at 1937. So we're about to approach what in real terms is World War II. Yet in this game, I think it's like the most peaceful era ever. I mean, there is war. There's, there's a ton of wars. But in terms of actual fighting, I mean, there's a bit between Switzerland and Portugal. There's a bit off the West African coast. And that's it. Oh, and there might be some naval battles off of Indonesia. But that is it. <laughs> I think, finally, that might be it. Unless, again, Parthia and Ching. No, I don't know what Ching are doing. And um, they might just be hiding their army. Like, they're going to lure Mongolia to attack them and then come from the side and try and fight back, maybe. Um, obviously, there is... Oh, no. Persia. Did, did Congo... Did Ethiopia kill everything? Or did you just move it back really, really quickly? I think it's a mixture. I think some of it is dead and the privateers have made it home. <laughs> I think that is a that, that's a good analysis of what has happened here. Good assumption to make for what we have witnessed. How is the Zulu? Oh, this city is being starved down to one population. I didn't realise that. That's so sad. Oh my goodness. Seriously, Rhodesia, you seriously need to do that. That's that's awful. Why would you? Why would you do that? <laughs> it's, it's just horrible. But um, there we go. Still, India have not 
even India not even tempted. I can't believe they're not even tempted to attack Mongolia just to take this back. Surely there must be a bit of temptation in there. I would. Like, you're pretty safe from Mongolia. I'm not even going to lie. These mountains, these borders, you're safe as it could be. Tries not to yawn again. Um, Congo have pieced out with Rhodesia. Pretty good thing, because they're now just banished to North America, South America. Get there in the end. Mercuria still trying to settle. They've been here for a while. And they're just, just staring out at the sea. The camel's having a good look. Just making sure that's the view he wants to wake up to every day for the rest of his life. Just staring out across the Pacific. It seems like a nice place to be. But he doesn't want to settle there just yet. Poland piecing out with the Garamantes. No, not not a huge, huge peace deal there. But um, we did see one city fall in that war, of course, up here. For those of you, this episode it is 1938. Hearts of Iron 4. Well, I was going to say Hearts of Iron 4 start time, but that's 1936. My bad. But anyway, we're about to hit like the World War II age in years, obviously. That's kind of accurate, I guess, for some of the stronger civs, although it's not. Like everyone still has great war infantry, but Rhodesia just have rocket artillery on top of that. So it's a bit of a mixed match. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. As always, if you have enjoyed, it would be awesome if you could leave a like. And of course, leave a comment too to let me know how I can improve, what you want to see, and just any general comments you have, I guess. And anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.